Hello, and welcome to our webinar on the topic of cable MES. The MES system designed specifically for wire and cable manufacturing. Today's webinar is called Closing the Loop Between Business and Process Functionalities in Wire and Cable Manufacturing with Cable MES. I'm Burl Rowland, a Simtech Sales Manager for the Americas, and I'm delighted to be joined today by Amanda Shihab, Director and Founder of Simtech. Before I start, I'd like to draw your attention to the chat box, which you should see on the right-hand side or the top of your, screen, your screens. If you have any questions about the topics covered, please feel free to use the chat box function. We will collate all questions asked and then following the webinar, provide answers and circulate to all attendees. Thank you for being here today. And without further ado, let's get started. So, uh, Simtech. A bit about Simtech for those of you who don't know us. I will tell you a little bit about us briefly and then allow Amanda to expand on our history. So, Simtech was founded in 1998 by Ali and Amanda Shihab. And since, since our inception, uh, Simtech has been the leading software provider to the wire and cable manufacturing industry. Um, we, our software is designed specifically for wire and cable manufacturers, and uh, we, our, our, our motto and our mantra is to help factories embrace uh, smart factory processes whilst maximizing productivity and profitability. So uh, our, our whole mission uh, with the two flagship products that we have, Cable Builder and Cable MES, uh, are are targeted uh, just to help wire and cable manufacturers. We we don't sell uh, outside of our swim lanes to food and beverage or any other industries. Uh, we focus solely on uh, the wire and cable um, wire and cable manufacturing industry. So next slide. So what is cable MES? Um, so a lot of times we spend uh, conversations uh, in in educating our customers about cable MES and MES in general. So the question comes up, what is MES? So MES stands for Manufacturing Execution System. And cable MES is a system which tracks and documents the transformation of raw materials into finished goods in wire and cable manufacturing plants. Cable MES operates from the plant perspective, and Cable MES closes the loop between high-level business functionalities and low-level plant and process functionalities. Again, Cable MES is specific to wire and cable manufacturers, built from the ground up. So that begs the question, what does Cable MES do? So Cable MES provides information that helps manufacturing decision makers understand how current conditions on the plant floor can be optimized to improve production output. So Cable MES increases the effectiveness of key personnel and equipment in four areas, what we call the four pillars of MES. And I'll expand on each of these as we, as we go along. But uh, first, number one, order execution. Number two, production performance. Number three, product quality. And four, material management. The next slide. So a little bit more uh, on operations. So pillar number one, order execution. Uh, and we all, so we all know that in wire and cable manufacturing, order execution is a complex task. And it's all about delivery to length, delivery on time, minimizing the whip uh, or work in progress, and minimizing waste. So Cable MES allows a shop floor team to tune the business schedule to match the real-time situation on the shop floor. So what do, what do we mean by that? We, we, we talk about delivery to length um, and, and how Cable MES can help with that. So, uh, you know, a lot of times on the shop floor, uh, we we have a lot of mistakes that are made due to uh, human error, and 
uh, you know, we we run the wrong length, uh, and so we we have to rerun uh, that for that particular customer. Or uh, if there is a if that was the mistake that was made, uh, perhaps our delivery doesn't happen on time. So one of the things that Cable MES does is that it manages that so that the delivery to length is always right. Delivery on time will be more possible because mistakes aren't made. And we've minimized the whip in that we always know what's happening on the shop floor and where the whip is at any given time through the process. Thus minimizing waste uh, because we're going to have less scrap, we're going to have less um, mistakes made, and uh, so so that's a benefit all around. Next slide. Pillar number two, production performance. So Cable MES improves real-time production performance by one, avoiding slow running machines, minimizing bad quality product, and minimizing machine stoppages. Cable MES improves long-term production performance by analysis of trends to identify the underlying reasons for poor production performance. Cable MES can also systematically improve the manufacturing process by identifying losses, benchmarking progress, and improving productivity across all areas of the plant. So uh, here we see real time uh, what's going on in the shop floor through connectivity that we have to all of our machines. So uh, by being able to run reports and analyzing data points, we're able to figure out which machines are uh, causing problems or slow running machines uh, so that we can maximize our throughput. So minimizing bad quality product uh, is also something that uh, we help with with quality. So uh, with, with our quality management and minimizing these machine stoppages because um, we're able to monitor um, what's going on in the shop floor in real time. Next slide. Pillar three, product quality. So in Cable MES, the following provide all the information to produce a robust quality management system and define what constitutes good product quality. So we do that by quality plans, process alarms, and operator inspection. So in Cable MES, bad product is identified immediately and drums with bad product are blocked from further process. So Cable MES delivers a significant reduction in the cost of operating uh, a robust quality management system. So uh, what, do, what do we mean by this? It, and so what Cable MES actually does is it's pulling design data from Cable Builder and you're able to, uh, Cable MES knows what the specifications are of, of whatever is being uh, ran through the system, uh, through your process. And so when something's out of spec or uh, an alarm uh, isolates that product and, allow, and stops it from further processing. So it requires an operator inspection uh, to allow it to move to the next stage uh, in, in, your, in your process. Next slide. Pillar number four, uh, material management. So with cable MES, um, material availabilities and quantities are tracked in real time and order execution is optimized. So material utilization can be measured and less materials are used. The whip is tracked. The cost of whip can be removed or reduced significantly. So traceability is also built into the system. So, so you, so with cable MES and material management, you have you have full traceability of of everything that's going on in the shop floor. Um, you you know exactly where the whip is at, at any time, and so you know we have a lot of money that's tied up on the shop floor 
uh, with WIP being backed up or in places we don't need to have money tied up on the shop floor. So there's significant cost reduction there. So uh, order execution is optimized because we can we can really uh, monitor what's going on in the shop floor and we can do uh, we can analyze um, things in such a way to really give way to OEE um and the the concept of of being able to um really maximize our throughput so why choose cable mes so cable mes is a system that's built from the ground up for cable manufacturers um it's an out of the box mes solution specific for wiring cable we've done all the work um, you know, this is not a system that was designed for food and beverage, uh, you know, or process chemical, uh, you know, types of manufacturing. Um, this solution is specific to wire and cable. So we've designed it in such a way to be extremely cost effective when compared to other alternatives, uh, such as doing this in house. The development cost and the time that it would take a company uh to come up with a solution like this we've thought of all we we know the industry um we've thought of all the things um that that are uh that are basic to to the needs of wiring cable manufacturing and we can tailor things also to your unique business processes so uh, we know every company is a little bit unique in its in its own way but our solutions are very flexible and um we can we can design the system uh you know we would have a we would have a scoping workshop with your company so that we would go through all of the processes and know your uh particular needs and be able to tailor things um specific to you so simtech or cable through and through we have copper and fiber and fiber in our veins and we use our knowledge to help companies um and the idea with cable mes is also that it's a quick return on investment um, and it helps future proof your investments as well so uh with cable mes uh, in, in thinking of return on investment um you know you think about second shift and the accountability factor that a lot of companies don't know what's going on in second shift and mistakes are made um, this reduces human error significantly in so much that um, the roi is, is very quickly realized when um, you identify uh, those mistakes and you stop those bad runs from happening so um, we have a lot of companies that don't know where materials are on the shop floor. Runs have been made, but they were ran incorrectly. Um, a few of those mistakes saved is the cost of the system. So next slide. Um, this slide is an interesting slide, and I really like this slide. This slide is all about um, Industry 4.0, what the smart factory looks like. And just to give you a bit of an example um, here, so um, the the idea uh, of Cable Builder Enterprise as your product and design tool, so a central repository that you have for all your design and managing that design um, and being able to manage all of the iterations of, of designs that you would have. So we have Cable Builder Enterprise uh, central to our engineering, and then um, we have our our business. We have our ERP, uh, and Simtech and Cable Builder and Cable MES are agnostic to the type of ERP that you have. So, if you have an existing ERP, uh, whether it's SAP, Oracle, Aptian, Netsuite, whatever you have, uh, we can integrate into that system. We haven't come across an ERP system that we haven't been able to integrate into yet. So all that to say uh, is that we can 
uh, use uh, Cable Builder Enterprise to transmit your and communicate your your item masters, your bond, your routing, all to ERP. And uh, from ERP, uh, you can see below we have our factory model here with Cable MES um, kind of front and center. And so uh, from ERP, uh, the production order, the operations, and issue of materials communicated to Cable MES. So Cable MES utilizes a system platform and we partner with a company called Wonderware um, or Aviva as you as you may have heard of them but um, the idea here is that um, Cable MES sits on top of system platform and through system platform we're able to communicate through the PLCs to all the machines on the shop floor through some sort of IO point on that machine um, we're able to communicate and pull all of the, the data uh, and read that data and pull it back into Cable MES. So Cable MES also, excuse me, also pulls material uh, design data, uh, quality parameters, manufacturing instructions, your recipes, those specifications uh, from Cable Builder Enterprise, so that we know when something is being ran that's not uh, to spec. So cable MES can isolate that material and, and keep it from pro from moving any farther throughout the throughout the process. So also with system platform, we have historian and the historian uh, is going to historize all of that machine data. So we're able to do reporting and analyze trends and see um, you know, this is back to which machines are running more efficiently so we can really optimize uh, our throughput. So this is the idea of the smart factory. Um, you know, if, if there are further questions on this, we're happy to answer this. Um, but that's my last slide. I'd like to turn the presentation over to Amanda. And um, there she is. So thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Bill. Let me just um, share my screen. OK, yeah, so thank you, Bill. So I just want to spend a few minutes to tell you a little bit more about SimTech. So we're a UK, UK software company, and we've been around for over 20 years now. And uh, I, you, you can't really underestimate this, but we specialize in wiring cable. That's all we do. So every one of our customers is a wiring cable manufacturer. Um, our products and services, they are really designed by the industry for the industry. And our aim is to help our customers become more profitable and also more competitive. We've got two main products, as Bill mentioned. We have Cable Builder for cable design and quotation. And we have cable MES for manufacturing execution. Um, but please remember that both of these products are really designed purely for wire and cable. That that is their main focus. And um, all the all the elements of wire and cable manufacture that other industries don't um, really have, these products really address those issues. Um, so we have customers all over the globe. There's a few of them listed here on this slide, but there's, there are many more. Um, you can see just from this slide that they are from the very, very big to the very, very small. And uh, they manufacture every type of cable you've ever imagined or thought of. Um, In-house, we have a lot of uh, wire and cable expertise. Many of us, myself included, used to work for a, a cable manufacturing company. So we really understand the issues faced um, in the industry. Following on from Bill's presentation, I just wanted to just say a few more things about Cable MES. So again, the main thing is that it is built for wire and cable uh, and that you can't underestimate this. So when you think about all the things that have to come together to produce a cable of the right length of good quality to be delivered to the end customer at the, the right time, there are so many things that can and do go wrong. Um, and an MES system has to deal with all this. Um, and to do this, really, you need to manage those four pillars that Bill was just talking about. 
so if you if all the four pillars can be managed correctly then you really can uh, reap some real big benefits and that's what cable mes is is all about if we just move on now here that we have a, a small case study here of one of our customers hitachi cables in the in the usa this is an example of where um, using cable MES to save them $40,000. And this, just, this was just one instance of um, the avoidance of a mistake. So, so the story was that um, the operator, uh, he was making um, some fiber cable and he'd loaded the machine with a certain type of fiber. Um, through using cable MES, MES knows about the materials that you are supposed to be using in order to produce that that cable to, to 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 run that run the machine so before he started production he scanned in um, the raw material that was the fiber that he'd loaded onto the machine and the system told him that it was the wrong the wrong material so he you know he went and checked and it was a very similar material to what he should have been using but it wasn't the right one for this particular production run so he realized his mistake and he he changed the fiber over and off he went and everything was fine and that that alone saved the company for that one instance saved them uh, forty thousand dollars and they think the thing that to remember as well so if he'd actually ran that cable with the wrong fiber because it was very similar nobody would have noticed at the time it would not have been picked up till a much later operation where a test would have been performed and that should have identified that it was the wrong you know it had the wrong fiber but worst case, if it had, you know, it had somehow got through that test, it could have ended up um, with the customer, and the, who knows what the cost would of that would have been if the, it had actually gone to the customer's site, perhaps been installed um, uh, in an installation, and that the cost then, if that had to be returned and you know problems resolved, could could have been absolutely absolutely enormous. Uh, so that's just one example of how how of uh, avoiding mistakes by using a system like cable MES can can save you know thousands and thousands of, of uh, dollars or or whatever um, unit of currency you 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 are working in uh, I just wanted to finish by by saying that these technologies that the bill is talking talking about like the smart factory and uh, big data uh, I, um, internet 4.0 they're not really new They've been around for years, but what what has changed recently uh, in the last few years is that technology these days is is much more reliable, and the technology really is there to deliver uh, benefits by using these systems. And I think the other thing that has changed is the the perception in the industry. So it's not really shall we do this or shall we not do it. It's more uh, when shall we do it and how do we do it. And that's really what we're here for. So please come and come and talk to us. You don't have to do everything at once. You can do things in small steps, but still achieve real benefits. So please come come and talk to us, and uh, we can help you uh, and and basically go on that journey together. Um, okay, so so that's um, the end um, of what I want to say to you. So um, I'll now hand over back to to Burl. Um, to, to finish. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Um, I'd just like to add uh, one quick thing to what Amanda was saying. I, I, I think that was a great point to make that um, we we can help you uh, in stages. And we have lots of companies that do uh, pilot projects for maybe a part of their plant to start off with or a cell within their plant to start off with uh, to see the benefits of how um, MES can help them. So, um, but thank you, Amanda, and um, thank you for joining us today. Um, you can see uh, my contact information uh, below there, uh, burl.roland at simtech.com. So please feel free to email me if you have any questions or you would like to arrange uh, deeper discussions on cable MES. Um, but so we trust you enjoyed today's webinar and that you have been able to see the many benefits that cable MES can bring to your operations. So in the next day or two, uh, we will send you a follow up email, which will include a recording of this webinar um and a link to additional content we think that you might find helpful so please look out for that 
And if you would like to discuss anything with me uh, or Amanda, um, please feel free to reach out. Again, there's my email. And um, thank you for attending our, our webinar today.